Hi there, I'm back with another Pandora video. Today I'm going to show a bit about the operating system. Um, as I said, we've got the battery monitor working that's down here. 68% left at the moment, that's about 6 hours and 50 minutes. Um, you can set it up as you want. I've got a low percentage of 10% currently, which will display a warning message. You could also run a, co a command or do nothing. And at critical, critical percentage 5%, I am going to run power off so that my unit automatically shuts down if in case it runs out of battery. Pretty cool. Um, we also have the audio mixer set up. So you now have master controls where you can uh, set the volume. For example, if you're uh, using headphones and the volume wheel is way too loud for you, just go down with the software mixer and then you can fine tune with the normal volume control. Start menu has changed a bit, as this is a mainly a gaming console, we've got subcategories for games. Um, those are not all subcategories, um, the rest of the categories will actually uh, show up as soon as there's a game installed with that category. Same for emulator section. Let's just insert an SD card, pop that in. As seen before, auto discovery PND system will work and will automatically pop up what I've got here on the desktop. Now on the menu you'll see there's an emulators menu with a few emulators in here, as well as the games menu has some more. Here's action with Alephon, Sea Dogs, and Quake. Adventure RPG hasn't changed. Here's Super Mario War and Super Tugs, and oops, puzzle and board games are also the same as before. Now you see here the SD card has appeared, so I can simply double click it and then I'm here in the file manager. Uh, normal file manager as you may know from Windows, you can select your folders here, you can go through here, I can for example go into the Pandora directory, see what's inside here, I can go back, I can go forth, I can go into um, maybe the menu. Then I take, uh, maybe I'd like to have Pico Drive on the desktop, so I just go here, cut that, and paste it on into the apps folder. Paste, whoops, now it's here. And then it should also appear on the desktop. There it is. You can do that on the fly on the Pandora. Okay, then um, we've got, I've got some PDF files here because some wanted to see PDFs. Um, this is the my SQL documentation. It's 30 megabytes big, so it will surely take a while to uh, start. It's a long file to load, but once it's loaded, um, you see that PDF viewing works pretty well. Okay, just wait a few seconds. <laughs> That's a really big one. Where you could do other things while it's loading, so you could go to where you could start in the music player and play some music while it's doing that. I think it's loaded, so I'll switch back to here. Here's the reference manual. Of course, you've got chapters. You've got 3,000 pages, so I just loaded up a 3,000 pages PDF document, which which really is a lot. So, um, for example, let's go. Let's say you want to read a bit about MySQL internals. Oh, whoops, it's already there, that's really fast. Or replication chapter 16 loading, there it is. Of course, you can zoom in. As with a normal PDF reader, can scroll around, can even go closer if you like to. You can use the D pad, uh, the, the buttons, the gaming buttons, that's page up, that's page down. So you can scroll around using page up and page down. No problem here, really working well. So I think that's enough for ebook reading. Um, let's just open a document with AbiWord. So you can see a bit of text editing. Um, here you go, that's uh, just some document I had lying around here. Um, but what's really cool is page up, page down, of course that works here too. So you can navigate here, you've got and you've got pos1, so you can just simply uh, mark a text like that, delete it, it works like, well, like you're on a normal PC. So let's just 
open up a new document. Don't want to change this one. Make it a bigger font so you can see what I'm doing here. Let's make it 28. You can go to full screen mode, which makes typing really easy. Uh, hello. What, we're going, what am I going to write? Okay, this is just a little typing test. So really fast if you use to, to the keyboard. Um, what's also new is you can uh, now actually do stuff uh, like a, a, u, for example, like this. Or like this. This works, I've got composite key is shift and return. So you press shift and return, then you select the uh, double quotes for an A or U, and then simply press the button which you like, that's an U. Well, and there's your U. It also works with the other accents. You could use these two here. For example, if you want to write um, accent. So maybe like this. So it's international, you can do what you want. Okay, um, as you could see here, there we are. As you could have seen here, you can switch between multiple tasks. So for example, if you got, well, let's open XMMS, for example, a music player. Okay, then you can switch back and forth. It's the mini taskbar really looking nice. Of course, you can run here. Equalizer is now working and a set software volume control also working. So you're Let's say, um, what's in office? Uh, we've got Orange, which is a small calendar. Um, we can also set up appointments. So you've got a calendar in here. New appointment, for example. Title, location, event, you can put that all in here. You can move around the window. And if you don't like, um, if you don't want to, to, if you just want to play a bit, just select the game. For example, Wise. Oh, it's a C64. So I can just use an auto start image, for example, program. And then go to uh, Bubble Bubble is a nice game. Play for a, for a while. Okay. C64 always takes a while, but it runs really nice. Portable C64 and a portable Amiga and a portable Atari and what, whatever else. So nice sound from Wise. There you go. Okay, so get back to work. We just quit the emulator. Um, you see the rest is still here, so uh, if you were writing a text, you could just switch, play a game, go back, write a text, and so on. Now for the movie player. As said, it has a few glitches at the moment, it doesn't use hardware acceleration yet, but uh, you can see how well it works. So just open a video here. We've got um, maybe passion here. As I wrote in the blog, it won't work nicely with, if you're not full screen, you won't see anything here. But that's no big deal, you just go to full screen, and here's your video. Full resolution, working fine. You can uh, use the slider to go anywhere you like. Using a lot of CPU power at the moment, because it's not hardware accelerated, and it's just an x with not H.264. But of course that will come. Uh, there, is, there is hardware accelerated video playing out there for the OMAP. We just need to include it. But it's not as bad as some might have imagined. Okay, quit. And next I'm going to do a little internet for you. And some nice stuff coming up here. Stay tuned. <laughs> 